This is the first time I have received a parcel that actually has a seal on it. Let's break the seal. Oh wow, now this is exciting. It is the Meshnology N35 ESP32 LoRa port kit. I've been waiting to get my hands on this for a long time. If you love long range wireless communication, this kit is going to blow your mind. So this is everything I received in the package. First, I have two Heltec LoRa 32 boards. These are the classic ESP32 LoRa boards with a 0.96 inch OLED display right on top. They support LoRa, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Next, take a look at these two military green protective cases. They already have the cutout for the OLED screen, buttons and ventilation on the sides. So right out of the box, you get two LoRa boards, two tough enclosures and all the mounting hardware. Very neat, very thoughtful. Let's open the box and see what's inside. All right, so inside the plastic casing, here is what we get. First, there are male header pins. Next, the star of the show, the LoRa development board itself. Clean layout, compact size, and Type-C port. That already feels like an upgrade. We also get two antennas, one flexible wire antenna for tight spaces and one stronger external antenna for long range tests. Great to have both options right from the start. There is also a small cable for connecting a LiPo battery. For now, I will keep things very simple. No soldering yet, no battery. I will power the board directly from my laptop or a 5 volt adopter and start with some initial tests. If you plan to use these boards for automation, then I definitely recommend soldering the headers because you will need reliable connections for sensors and input-output pins. Okay, so before we go deeper, let me make one thing clear. All the basic specs and intro details are already available right here on the official product page. You can read everything in detail anytime. I'm not going to waste your time explaining what is already written. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LoRa, battery display, case, everything built right in. All the important interfaces are available. ADC, I2C, SPI, UART, plus capacity touch. That means you can attach sensors, GPS modules, displays, almost anything you want. It is fully Arduino compatible. You can even use it with a Raspberry Pi. Package includes everything you need to start, the board, the battery, the case and antennas. Now, this is the part everyone gets confused about, V3 versus V4. So, look at this table. V4 has noticeable upgrades over V3, more memory, higher LoRa transmit power, solar panel support, GNSS expansion port, better protection on the casing and antennas, lower power consumption. This is very important if you want long-term outdoor deployment. And it's not just the basic details. On the same page, they have also provided the full installation instructions. There is a complete pinout diagram and every onboard component is clearly labeled. So you instantly know what is what. Plus, there is a lot more useful information available right here on this page if you want to explore further. Now, let's go ahead and start with a board installation. Make sure you have the latest version of the Arduino IDE installed on your system. As you can see, I'm using Arduino IDE version 2.3.6. After installing the Arduino IDE, you will see notification messages like updates are available for some of your libraries and updates are available for some of your boards. If you don't want to update the libraries, that's completely fine because some projects require specific library versions. However, you must install or update the boards. Otherwise, the Heltec ESP32 dev board won't appear in the search results. So let's go ahead and update it. Next, go to the boards manager. 
search for Heltec ESP32 and as you can see I have already installed it. After this you will also need to install the corresponding library. To do this go to the library manager and search for Heltec ESP32. Currently version 2.1.5 is installed which is the latest one and that's it you're all set. Then go to the file menu examples and look for Heltec ESP32 dev boards. You will see a lot of categories and each category contains multiple examples for different boards. Since my main goal here is to test the boards and verify whether I can upload the code successfully, let's go to the OADD category and open the drawing demo example. To upload the program, go to the tools menu. Board. Heltec ESP32 series dev boards and select Wi-Fi LoRa 32 v3. Next, select the correct communication port and finally click on the upload button. As you can see, both LoRa 32 development boards are working perfectly. I have uploaded different codes to both boards for testing. From this point onward, things become much easier because I have already prepared two examples for you. One for one-way communication and another for two-way communication. This one here is the transmitter side code and the other one is the receiver side program. The transmitter side sends a random value to the receiver where it's displayed on the OLED screen along with the RSSI value. I've already uploaded both programs so let's go ahead and see them in action. The transmitter side is currently sending a random value and the receiver side is successfully receiving it. Instead of sending a random value, you can connect a sensor or a button and transmit its readings to the receiver, allowing you to monitor the sensor data or button state remotely. In fact, you can even connect multiple input devices and send all their values together as a string message to the receiver. Now let's disconnect the transmitter side so you can clearly see that this is a real wireless communication. After disconnecting the transmitter, you can see that the value on the receiver side is no longer updating. Let's power the transmitter back on. And as soon as I turned it on, the receiver side started updating the value in real time again. This program is designed to demonstrate two-way communication. It not only sends a random value but also receives and displays the incoming value on the screen. I have uploaded the same code to both Heltec LoRa 32 development boards. So let's go ahead and see it in action. You can clearly see on the displays that both boards are actively communicating with each other in real time. This proves that our two-way LoRa communication setup is working perfectly. In a real-world project, you could replace the random value with sensor data, button states, or any other input allowing both devices to exchange information wirelessly or long distances. In the next video, we will use these LoRa 32 development boards to build a fully functional off-grid text messaging system and we will also perform an extreme range test. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in the next episode and thanks for watching.